going to go spawn Blake. And I'm Hunter. Welcome to another great day at Citrus Grove Elementary. Please rise nice and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Citrus Grove Elementary. This is Mrs. Williams with a few words of wisdom. Elizabeth Freeman was a slave in the state of Massachusetts at the time our nation was born. Miss Freeman did not want to be a slave. She wanted to be a free person, even though many thought it was impossible. She was so determined, she escaped and found a lawyer to help her. They went to court and said that slavery was against the law according to the Declaration of Independence. The state of Massachusetts agreed and made slavery illegal there. Listen to these words. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. Elizabeth Freeman was a determined woman, and she made a firm commitment and got results. So ask yourself this. What am I determined to do or achieve? For something to think about, this is Mrs. Williams. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Today, we're going to recognize first graders with positive referrals. Meet me in my office right after the news. From Ms. Collins, congratulations to David Alvarez. David is a rock star of perseverance. He passed his first reading counts test with a perfect 10. From Ms. Sutta, congratulations to Alice Montanez Francesca. Alice is quick to set up a good example for others. I appreciate that I can always count on her. From Ms. Vipon, congratulations to Rain Smith. Rain is so helpful and caring towards others. I appreciate her kind and encouraging nature. From Ms. Shicker, congrats to Brooke Yanoni. Brooke filled her entire reading log in one week, over an hour of reading. From Ms. Whitten, congratulations to Jaden Rodriguez. Jaden is a hard worker in class and a great friend. From Ms. Cunningham, congratulations to Max Rich. Max is our master gardener, taking wonderful care of our seedlings. From Ms. Dalton, congratulations to Keyshad Randall. Keyshad is adjusting into our classroom routines and he is the perfect addition to our class family. From Ms. Grover, congratulations to Gavin Lowe. Gavin is a joy to have in class. He works hard and always does the eagle best. Keep up the good work, Gavin. Congratulations to all these first graders. Have a terrific Tuesday. Don't forget Chick-fil-A night is on Thursday. And now, back to the anchor. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Williams. And now we're going to Good morning, Eagles. This message is for fifth graders. Fifth graders, on Thursday, that's right, Thursday, we're going to be discussing Cryptid Hunters. I hope you've enjoyed this book as much as I do. Bone Smith is one of my favorite authors. I've met him so many times, well, three times, and well, I think maybe even four. I'm like one of his big, biggest fans. Um, and if you enjoy that book too and you're ready to discuss it, I have a really fun dinosaur egg stack for you. So come to book club on Thursday. We're going to be meeting during lunch and I'll give you your next book. So make sure you pass the test by tomorrow because book club is Thursday. Now, if you're marching in the dog parade with us on Saturday, you've got the permission slip, take it home to your parents, please let me know so that I can give you the next piece of information such as where we're going to meet. So please let me know if you're marching in the dog parade with us on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. I got my bell costume. So I hope to see, I hope to hear from those people that are marching in the dog parade from us with us. And now, back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Young. Th um, thank you for watching Eagles. I'm Terrific Tuesday. And remember, Eagles do their best and nothing less. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Miss Williams.